romance. I mean, look at me. I've got two terrific children. I've got a house. I've got financial security. I've got you. And every day is just the same. Life is going by, and I'm just sitting here with my mouth open. Stagnant, unfulfilling. Oh. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, you stop. You already covered that. Why didn't you ever tell me? Stuart, we live together, but we're not really intimate. We don't share anything. I'm a dentist. What do you want to share? How I prepare a bicuspid for an inlay? I'm not blaming you. I hope to always have you as a friend. Listen, you don't just say that to somebody. You don't just blurt out, I, I quit. What do you say? You say, you, you, you lead into it, gracefully. You say, uh, you say, dear, I'd like to talk to you. Then, uh, then you say, it's about our marriage. Then, uh, then you say, I don't think it's as, as perfect as it used to be. Then what? Then, then I prove to you that you're crazy. Okay. I'll get dressed and we'll go out to dinner and then I'll lead gracefully into our divorce. Then you can throw me in the fish tank. something special. Fair and warmer. Stuart met and fell in love. A taste of honey. These boots are made for walking. Strangers in the night. Uh, a groovy kind of love. We can work it out. Uh, well, so far, Strangers in the Night is my favorite. Honey, <laughs> yeah. get me a scotch on the rocks. Sure. Do you want anything? Yeah, I'll have a double uh, anything. You got it. Is that Professor Koenig over there? Mm, isn't he gorgeous? Hey, you two, come on. I want a nice shot here. Let's have a smile. There you go. Harry, my man. Fifteen years. I oh. know. <laughs> Why was he invited? Stuart and I barely know him. Blame your daughter. She begged us. He's her best friend's father, and he hasn't been to a party since his wife died. Oh, well, he's not going to enjoy himself. Why not? Because he won't fit in. He's, he's too intellectual. Oh. Well, then we just won't sit him next to your mother. <laughs> or my husband. <laughs> Actually, you never know what lurks behind those bedroom eyes. Elaine, I'll bet you forgot the hors d'oeuvres, dear. Thanks for reminding me, Doris. 